Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Create This Book 2. Today, we're going to create a comparison using colors that I like and colors that I don't like. So, my favorite colors are red and black, even though black is technically not a color, whatever. And conveniently for me, ladybugs are red and black, so that's what I'm gonna be drawing. When I was making the drawing, I was getting shells, I don't exactly like bugs, and this one was looking like a tick at first, which was even worse. I also added a leaf, even though green is not among my favorite colors, but I still want this drawing to look good. On the other side, I'm gonna be using colors that I don't like, and I don't like brown in general, so I'm gonna be drawing a bear, and in the photo I'm using as a reference, the bear is like sitting, but he's not sitting straight, he's more like hunching, maybe because bears can't sit straight. Well, it was really hard to get the pose right, unlike the ladybug that took me almost no time to do, making the sketch of the bear took me at least 2 hours, which is crazy and still wasn't perfect. Aside of the bear, I was also thinking to make a deer, but I didn't because I thought that it was gonna be way too difficult for me, little did I know. So after making the bear, I'm gonna make a tree behind him and now it is time to paint and I'm super excited because I'm gonna be using my new Pascus. I told you before that I didn't have many colors with the fine tip, so I got more and I also got colors with an extra fine tip, which are totally new for me. They have like a plastic tip, unlike the others that are made of a cotton material. I don't know, I'm just guessing. But they are also smaller, which I think maybe makes sense, because if you need such a small tip, you're either working on something really small or you just need it to make details like me, that's why I got them. As you can see here, I'm using the extra fine tip and they have this little thingy on the cap that I don't know how it's called, but it is transparent on the small one and black on the rest. Here I'm using it to make the antenna and the legs and see how fine the lines are, it's almost like a pencil. But I also think that it can break more easily and you won't be able to put the plastic back. Here I'm using it again, this time to make some highlights on the body and the legs, then I started to add some shadows but I was feeling like something was missing so I added a shadow under the leaf, which I didn't like, that's not the final touch that I was looking for, so I cover it with white and because I don't have a darker green Posca color, I'm gonna be using a color pencil to add a darker shade around the edges of the leaf. Now I'm painting the bear with this brown color that I'm really liking, it looks like chocolate, I love chocolate, maybe he's a chocolate bear, and I'm leaving some white parts because I want to paint them with a darker brown, but the darkest color that I have is way too dark, so dark that it almost looks like black to me, that's why I tried mixing it with a lighter color to hopefully make a more pleasant brown shade, but I realized that it wasn't gonna be a good idea because the paper was definitely going to break, so I had to move on to plan B, which was using acrylic paint, but I didn't like that brown shade either, and painting those parts with a brush was gonna be a headache. So as much as I hate it, I'm gonna be using the Posca that I have and then I'm gonna be adding the details with this orange color that I also dislike, but it was looking too weird on the nose so I changed the color to black. For the tree in the back, I'm also gonna be using this green color that I don't like, even the name is ugly, I think it is khaki green or something. 
and after spending a whole lot of time planning where to put the branches, thinking where they were gonna look better, they're all gone after painting, so now I have to figure all that again and hopefully not mess it up. Then I covered this color bleed from the other page and for the first time in forever I'm decorating the title which I never do, not because I don't want to but because I forget to do it most of the time. You guys, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite, I can choose, I love them both. Now for the next page, we're gonna create additions to these circles and honestly I had many ideas for this page, but it's been a while since I draw mandalas, so I decided that I'm gonna be making mandalas for this page. And I wanted to apologize in advance because I'm gonna be turning the book around a lot, I don't know if that's gonna be pleasant to your eyes but I had to do it. So just like my last mandala, I wanted to create a template so everything looks good and symmetrical. But I soon realized that it was not gonna be possible since I plan to fill most of the page with mandalas and doing that work twice is not something that excites me. That's why I'm gonna take the risk and freehand everything I started with this marker but the tip was too big so I changed it for a smaller one. Making a page full of mandalas is something that I've been wanting to do for a while but never felt motivated enough to do it, I don't know, I always had it in mind but never actually did it, that's why I'm really happy that I finally decided to do it. If you have never done mandalas, you should give it a try, it is very relaxing and super easy to do, most of the times it is very repetitive, maybe a few changes here and there and some details that you wanna add. What can be a little bit difficult is to train your hand to do everything the same size. You can take me as an example, my petals are not perfect, they are not the same size and that's fine, no one's perfect but we still want to have a little bit of symmetry not so much all over the place that's why practicing is so good for me it's been a really long time since i've done mandalas and just doing this page i can feel how i'm getting better already I think I would have wanted to have a bigger marker to make these mandalas. I thought of using the Puskas, but they're new and I don't want to run out of them already. But with a bigger marker, I think I would have been able to fill the whole page with the same amount of mandalas I have or even less, but the one I'm using is so small that I have to do twice the work to make them look bigger, I think that's something that you can consider when making mandalas as well. And I don't know if you know this, but mandalas can have a meaning depending on the shape they have. It's something that you can look more into if you're interested. I don't know any of their meanings, I just draw mandalas because I like them. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this drawing and if you draw mandalas already or want to get into it, I'll be reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye!